You are now tuned in to BFTV. Let's switch it up. It's the linebacker city. Let's go. I wish I Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with that energy, hit you with that. Ooh, I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling it right now. I'm ready to hit you guys with the linebacking crew. We got some work to do, but not as much work as you think. We got some backers on this team that you guys might not know about, and you have backers on this team that you guys know all about. Let's just start off with the general himself, veteran. He played three positions in his career. DT, DE, LB. That's Lorenzo, one man gang, Alexander. A lot of folks are gonna say, man, he's a little old. He takes exceptions to that. Don't ever call that man old because they'll call you straight out on Twitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I've seen it myself. When you get to that age, 33, 34, 35, you know what I'm saying? People start to question not your ability, but how old you are. It may not even matter, but the production you've done, they just happen to do it. And my man Lorenzo Alexander is on the other side of 33. However, one thing that stood out to me about Lorenzo Alexander's game, two things, two things is the sacks that he had last year were non-productive this year. I know it's a different defense, but if the defensive coordinator would put the man on the line, on the edge, and let him do what he does, let him do what earned him his contract extension, we'd have more than three sacks from Alexander. But let's get into the real good things. Great character, team player, Buffalo guy. I can't say anything bad about him. And he's a man of the people. The amount of times I see him doing podcasts, doing radio stations, and I'm not talking about with the high media guys. These are the local bloggers, vloggers, you name it. He is making time to see them all. So he's pulling on the heartstrings of Bills fans, of Bills media, and Bills fanatics, and Bills mafia. But does he have enough skill left to stick around? Hard worker, big tackler, solid tackler, a liability in the pass game. Let's keep it real. There's no hate here. It's just a liability in the pass game. You're not as fleet foot as some of these other guys that are out there. We could use some help in that department. Is Lorenzo Alexander part of the problem or is he part of the process? Preston Brown. A lot of y'all are mad at Preston Brown right now because Preston Brown is playing the game. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Preston Brown right now has mentioned that he wants to probably, he wouldn't mind playing for other teams. And one of the teams he mentioned was the Patriots. Oh, don't cry. You'll be just fine. Preston Brown mentioned that to the media. So now it's, you know, it's wildfire. People are going crazy about it. But listen, let's just chill out. It's the name of the game. He's using that as leverage. Now, Preston Brown, a thumper. He doesn't care who you are, where you come from, what angle you're going to take. He will take that angle, cut it off, and thump you right in the mouth. Ask Frank Gore how that tastes. Is consistent adapts he is all over the field you can't hate on that led the league in tackles with over a hundred tackles numbers don't lie and when you lead the league in tackles it means something very physical he will meet you in the hole at any time now one thing that is underrated with my man Preston Brown is his coverage ability he can actually drop back in coverage has enough awareness to cut certain things off now when it comes to man-to-man -man, that's where there's a bit of question there those little quick little running backs that come out and scat out that's where we kind of have to give a little bit give him a little bit of help so we can stick with those running backs that are outside that's where i fear a little bit but don't think that he is a liability in the pass game the man is underratedly good in pass coverage the one thing that i would like to see more from preston brown put more pressure on the quarterback that's one thing i missed be more of an impact player an impact player like that linebacker number 59 from the panthers y'all know who i'm talking about now does Preston Brown come back? Do we give him a big deal? Or do we say, you know what? Nah, man, we're gonna hit the draft and we'll see you later because we ain't trying to pay you. What do y'all think? Part of the problem or is he part of the process? 
Raymond Humber. I like Raymond Humber. Raymond Humber started the year on fire. The first game, 12 tackles in one game. The boy was all over the place. He did something to his arm, broke his hand, kind of the production kind of slowed down a little bit, but he picked it back up once he got back onto the field. Sideline to sideline linebacker, and that's what we need. McDermott's defense is predicated on speed. Sideline to sideline, you are not getting outside of us. That's one thing McDermott detests, is when you, as a running back, bounce it outside we can't have slow players on the edge cut that off send them back inside to the wolves and we'll take care of business so humber with that speed i believe could keep him on the team what do y'all think process problem most people think that raymond humber is a young guy nah man he's a nine-year vet he's up there so now it becomes do we get younger at the position or are we are we saying you know what i mean mr humber see you later you guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section. Matt Milano, linebacker slash safety, that tells me versatility. I, I, I'll just tell you right now, he's part of the process. The boy came on strong at the end of the season. They like him. He did great things at Boston College, and he's doing great things in his first year as a linebacker for the Buffalo Bills. I see a bright little future for my man, Matt Milano. Around the ball constantly. Solid tackler, can cover receivers. That's the type of defender you need on this Buffalo Bills team if we're going to make a difference. Problem, process. Tanner Vallejo. Vallejo. Valle, Vallejo? Valle. Y'all know exactly what I'm trying to say. Tanner Vallejo. I expected more things out of Tanner Vallejo, to be very, very honest. I felt that he was going to make a little bit more, more noise during offseason, but Milano came on strong. Vallejo kind of took his role as a depth player. There's nothing wrong with that. Special teams ace, and he's a thumper. He will hit you right in the mouth. That's the type of guys we want on this team. So is he part of the process of problem? I'll let y'all know. Xavier Woods Luster. If you guys don't know who it is, I suggest you look him up. Speed. 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 And the boy throws his weight around and he'll hit you in the mouth. I like that type of linebacker. He has a little bit of nasty to him. He's a little on the light side. But when the boy moves that fast and he's nimble and he nice through, I'm telling you right now, look for that name to make some noise. Xavier Woodson Luster. Look for that man to make some noise. Aggressive, thumper, a sound tackler. He's not letting anything get out of his grasp. He over pursues. And when you over pursue, you lose contain. That's one thing that I, I would say uh, my man needs to work on a little bit. But the fact that we have him on our roster, I'm happy about that. Look for luster to make some noise on this Bills roster. Dion Lacey. You guys don't know who Dion Lacey is. Go go and go in www.cfl dot ca oh, 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 oh you know i gotta represent for my canadians y'all know what it is our balls are bigger y'all should know that already oh check this out though Dion lacy you're not gonna get a, a starter out of him however he will get some playing time depth player ace special teamer so that's where you're gonna see a lot more of Dion lacy on the special team side cfl stud an intelligent player instinctive so that is what is going to get him on the field. Before you get on the field, you better show that you can play on special teams. If you shine on special teams, you get more love on the field. 6'2", 235, can cover tight ends and get down in the dirt. So that is a versatile player that you need on this roster, and that's what he brings you. I don't know if you guys know about the CFL, but the field is wider, the field is longer, the balls are bigger, you know what I'm saying? And we ball out. So if my man can hang in the CFL, run sideline to sideline, there's no doubt that he can handle himself on special teams in the NFL. Process or problem? We've got to figure out who is going to be part of this squad. Who's going to be part of this linebacker crew? Lord knows that was one of our weak links on this team. Teams were running all over us, allowing 120 plus yards a game, rushed on us. We need to do something at the linebacker spot. Do we need to draft a linebacker? You're damn right. However, we have some things that we need to figure out. Lorenzo Alexander. You know what? Here's what's making me make him part of our process. The game against Jacksonville, he was impressive. He was amazing. This guy did great, and that alone is what's allowing me to say, you know what? You're part of the process. We have more things in store for you, so I see Lorenzo Alexander process. Preston Brown, process. Pay the man. Good linebackers don't just go on trees that give you 100 tackles. Give you 100 tackles, that means he's around the ball. That's what you need. When you're around the ball, good things happen. Get the deal done, 
and come back to Buffalo, you are part of the process. Raymond Humber, this is the one that's tough for me, part of the problem. And I like Raymond Humber, I like him a lot, but I feel that we're probably gonna wanna get younger on the outside at 30 years old, being a nine year vet. I feel that we go in a different direction. I think that uh, it's just a numbers game and we decide to go a different route. So Raymond Humber, problem. Tanner Vallejo, we drafted you in the sixth round. This is the year you got that one year out of the way. So now this is your year to show that you can be a quality depth player, get on the field and, and show your thing. But if you let, you know what I'm saying, some other guys start showing out, you could find yourself off this team. I say you're part of the process because we brought you on and we drafted you. But don't let that draft status think that you're safe. I'm gonna say process. Xavier Woodson Luster, here's the deal. I like what he brings. If you look at the film, I see a maniac that goes sideline to sideline and will hit you in the mouth. I, for one, love a linebacker like that. Luckily, he's on our team. I feel that he makes this team and he makes an impact. I'm gonna say Xavier Woodson Luster, process. Dion Lacey, although you came from the CFL, you proved yourself, you were on the squad last year, this is a league that you got to prove yourself. You got to prove yourself. When you have guys like Luster, Vallejo that got drafted, uh, you got to prove even more. Now, the only way you make this team is if you go hard body in special teams. So will you be part of the process or the problem? I'm going to say problem. I think we're gonna be looking at free agency, we're gonna be looking into the draft, and I think that we're going to try to bolster the linebacking crew. There you have it, folks. I just hit the linebacker crew. You probably were thinking, who the hell are these guys? Look them up, stop being lazy, and figure out who's on your squad and who you don't want on your squad. I gave you a little bit of help there. What do y'all think about the assessment I just made on the linebacking crew? We don't have that many. Y'all let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. That's all you gotta do, and keep this thing rolling if you like the videos that we keep putting out keep subscribing keep liking share with your friends we want to grow this channel as much as we can 10k chase is the goal y'all know who it is it's your boy rico repping buffalo fanatics it's your boy and i'm gone Bye.